guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are unboxing the Illumicrate edition of Chain of Gold. So this is a box I did purchase for myself because I just could not help myself. It was 52 pounds, which... I did some looking up because obviously I'm in the US so the pounds to dollars currently at least mean it was around 65 ish dollars for the actual box and I want to say shipping was around 20 ish so um, about $25 of shipping so I paid about $90 for this box I know that seems like a lot because it is um, a lot of that was shipping, but I really just could not help myself because I absolutely love Cassandra Clare's books. And I know there is a blanket in here. That was one of the spoilers. I don't know what it looks like, but there is a blanket. And so that was like a bonus push for me. So I'm just very, very glad we have this. Try not to show you my address. It is actually quite heavy as well. So I'm very curious to see exactly what's in here. Um, and I guess. We're just going to dive on in because I don't want to wait any longer than I have to. So this is the art for the, I think this is the spoiler stuff inside. Oh, and it looks like they also have a photo challenge. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I will be looking at this for the artist stuff eventually. Um, and I will leave all the artists linked down below in case you guys want to check them out as well. And the first thing we have here is in this black box. Ooh. Ooh, so mine is not <laughs> sitting in the actual like cut out very well so I'm just gonna take that part off Ooh, it is very nice and sort of heavy as well it is gorgeous so it looks like we have a replica of Cortana which is Cordelia's sword I have not read the book yet this is just stuff that I'm remembering from like infernal devices and other stuff like that um, and on the front, it says, of the same steel and temper as Joyous and Durandal. Um, I probably did not pronounce those correctly, but, like, this is very, very nice quality. Can I even let you guys see the words? It is so reflective. You can sort of see my camera in it. But it is so, so nice. It's not like actually sharp which is great but it is quite hefty like this this is a really nice quality item like I am already impressed next I think this is part of the items that was making it so big I'm gonna put down our box as well so it's a little easier but it says chain of gold tea for one on it and I'm just absolutely loving like the art on the box already um, so I'm very very excited to see what is in here I'm assuming something with tea but this looks bigger than a mug Ooh, it is very very pretty okay so first we have a little lid oh my gosh like this is like an art piece so, like it looks like we have like it's almost like a a wrought iron gate sort of look with leaves oh it's so cute i'm never gonna use this but it's so cute we have a cute little teapot with the wrought iron sort of gate and the leaves but it also has a quote on the other side and it says tea is always an excuse for a clandestine agenda and then we also have the leaves going up the handle. This is so pretty. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. And looks like we also have like a saucer and probably a, a cup as well. But so our saucer is just really, really pretty leaves. My shelf's not big enough for that saucer. Oh, the teacup is gorgeous. I love how like wide and short it is. But again, just 
leaves on the handle and the really, really reflective gold, almost like a rose gold color of the wrought iron with the leaves. This, this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I, I'm probably never going to really use it. I don't do tea, but like, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So my husband's here. I was just showing him all the stuff and putting things away. And I realized, here's our teapot and our mug. It does the thing that like <laughs> Chinese, or at least the teapot we have from China does, yeah. where they like fit together to make a thing. And I just got super excited and I didn't show you guys at all, but it does the thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it down so I don't break it. Okay, next, I see our blanket, and it looks like it's sort of vacuum sealed in here, so I'm very curious. Um, we see red and stuff on there. Ooh, it's so soft, too. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's not super big, which I'm not complaining about, but let me, I think I need to move you guys back a little bit so you can see more of this. Let's see. So we have like the mortal cup and the sword and I'm assuming they're trying to make it the glass. Again, I haven't read Chain of Gold, but like this is so pretty and just like the filigree sort of like stuff around it. Oh, so, so pretty. I can't move you guys back any farther because the baby gate's in the way, but hopefully you're able to sort of see exactly how pretty it is. And like I said, it's like super, super soft. I'm very excited. It's not, like I said, very large. I've gotten bigger blankets in, you know, special boxes before. Um, but like, I'm not mad at it. I just like as nice, soft, thin or small blanket for the couch because I get, I get hot very easily, but I still like something soft to have, especially if one of the animals wants to come and cuddle. But yeah, this, this is really, really nice. I'm very excited. Ooh. Okay, this is really cool. It's just like an art stand E sort of thing. I don't know what it's gonna be called in our spoiler sheet. I might have to look it up just to see what it's called. Um, but I like the way it's presented because I don't know what to do with art prints sometimes. And this, is like three pieces together and you can sort of like it's almost it reminds me of like the uh we have some in our uh, front room the like the chinese like the screen stuff we have an art one of that but it's like it's like it goes like this or like this and it's like a chinese like screen thing on there and it's not like that exactly obviously because this is definitely like acrylic um but it is gorgeous um, I do have to say, oh, I do think I know what this is. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, I don't think I know who the characters are because it's Chain of Gold, but from what it looks like, this actually looks like an Infernal Devices one, and so we have Will and Tessa, and Jem and Tessa and Will, and then Jem and Tessa, they're in modern day clothes, and oh my gosh, okay. I love this even more now. I really, really enjoy the Infernal Devices. I want to do a reread um, actually before Chain of Gold so I can like keep up on that. Oh my gosh, yeah, and it has all the like the automatons and stuff at the bottom. This is totally what it is. Oh, I'm so excited. And I really love this, I don't know, the novelty of just this where I can like pick which way I want it to stand and it'll stand up by itself. I love it. And now we have, oh, upside down. Shadowhunter playing cards. Okay, so I'm actually very excited about this as well. We've gotten playing cards in boxes in general. Um, not personally for me in a Luma crate because I've only purchased this box so far as a special edition box, but like I've gotten playing cards in other book boxes and I don't know the fandom or the characters. So I'm very excited about this, it's okay. So I'm very excited about this one. So we're gonna go through and look. Um, so from what I've seen, we do have something on the ace and then on the face cards. So, Jack, 
queen, king, ace, jack, queen, king. I love this one. We have church, ace, jack, queen, king. And then our last set, so ace. Jack, queen, king. I'm a little sad that Cordelia is so white on this card. I don't know if any other characters are a little bit lighter than they're supposed to be, um, but I know she's supposed to be quite dark according to all like the official art we have. Um, and then here is our Joker card. And the other one is red. Okay, yeah, I really do enjoy these because I actually know what most of everything is on these. Um, I've gotten, like I said, some other fandoms that they were gorgeous, but I didn't really understand who was what. I also really do appreciate that they gave us the actual names written on the face cards, um, just in case you weren't entirely sure based on the artist's style or anything like that. Um, that is a bonus. Under the book, we have a couple prints. I'm going to do these first. Oh, I love the art style on these for whoever whoever is doing these. They are gorgeous. They also have some, like, really shiny, like, metallic on there. So I'm very, very happy. These are so pretty. I'm going to have to find somewhere for it. So this is the first one. And just based on the look of them, I do want to say this is probably Infernal Devices because this reminds me of Tessa and then we have like Sophie and then this one here should be from Chain of Gold because this one looks like Cordelia and again the really really pretty metallic this these are these are gorgeous again I will leave all the artists and everything linked down below because I personally also want to check them out I feel like there's a couple of them here that I don't follow already so I definitely need to and then we're down to our book. I'm so excited. So this one is the special Illumicrate edition, obviously. And I don't even remember everything it's supposed to have, but it's supposed to be really gorgeous. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that is so cool. So we have like a bronzy metallic with, it's an almost a like dark foresty green for our base. This is a cloth bound no no dust jacket book and it's a thick chunker of a boy but I'm so excited so yeah chain of gold here's our spine love cuts deeper than any blade ooh and then and then back actually has like a summary and stuff our pages are sprayed basically the same bronzy color as the cover except for it's not metallic the inside end papers are the same it also has the first edition art that I know my hardcover has as well and it has a stamped signature page I believe that they were doing that with all of the Cassandra Clare things that got signed this one goes to about $5.92 for the actual story. And then there is a short story called Fairy Tale of London, a bonus story featuring Will and Tessa in the back. I'm just very, very excited for this. Uh, okay, um, I'm fangirling enough. I need to find a place on my shelves to put this because my shelves up there for the Cassandra Clare stuff are very, very full. But I'm super, super excited. Um, definitely worth the $90 I spent. Um, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing a lot from a Luma Crate. Only things that I'm very, very excited about because, like, the quality is amazing. But the price to get it shipped here from the UK, not so amazing. But... I think it was definitely worth it. Okay, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up Mondays and Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye.